Well, they say music stays in your memory. My next guest doesn't struggle to remember how to play the flute, even after a devastating diagnosis of Alzheimer's. Eugenia Zuckerman is a world-renowned musician, and she was a longtime arts reporter for CBS Sunday Morning. Every day, Eugenia writes a poem about dealing with Alzheimer's, and much of that poetry has been published in her book titled, Like Falling Through a Cloud. I had a chance to interview her with her husband right off camera in case she struggled to find her words. And here's how she describes this journey. World-renowned flutist and arts correspondent for CBS Sunday Morning for over 20 years, Eugenia Zuckerman now has a new book. This story's about her. It's called Like Falling Through a Cloud. You were diagnosed with Alzheimer's four years ago. How have you been doing? As someone with Alzheimer's, I, I feel it's so important to seize every day, to roll out of bed and exercise, um, have breakfast with my husband and two very naughty dogs. <laughs> and um, I'm a flutist and still very active. And I am the artistic director of a musical entity. And um, I practice every single day. Are you able to remember all of the songs that you've always played by heart? Is that sort of a special part of the brain that really holds on to that? Yes, you start as a young child. I was 10 years old when I heard uh, an, or an orchestra play uh, and they there was a flutist and I ran home and said, please, can I learn how to play the flute? And I was very lucky because my parents were very musical and uh, that's how I started. Eugenia, I would not be able to tell in the short time I've been able to chat with you that you are suffering from Alzheimer's. What is life like for you right now? It is up and down. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I am a little bit fuzzy, but generally I am very positive. I roll out of bed, I get on the floor, I do my floor exercises, I go downstairs, I play with the dogs, um, I go out and take a hike. I've been very active and I think perhaps it is just the surroundings. It's such a beautiful area where we are, um, but it, it also is it invites me to keep trying and to keep going. Eugenia, what do you say to seniors out there who have maybe spent the large part of the last year in isolation and really could use some motivation to step back out into the world? I think it is absolutely imperative to get out there and try the best that you can to seize every day. Your book, Like Falling Through a Cloud, is full of the most beautiful poetry. Would you mind sharing some of it with us? That's so kind of you, yes. Um, like falling through a cloud. Sometimes when I wake up, it's dark. Where am I? Sometimes I know and sometimes I have no idea. So I let the night spirits wrap around me and they whisper to me, don't think you will remember. I lie very still and then suddenly, like falling through a cloud, I know I am here. Just a little piece of your beautiful book, which again is called Like Falling Through a Cloud. Eugenia Zuckerman, thank you so much for your time and for being brave enough to share your story. What an inspiration you are. Thank you so much. And Like Falling Through a Cloud is available everywhere that books are sold.